yeah hello guys good evening everyone uh welcome back to this one shot or you can say revision lecture of the chapter differential equations correct uh today we will be doing differential equations but let me tell you how we'll be quickly revising all the concepts of differential equation and then we'll be solving the je means 2023 pyqs this year only january attempt okay guys we have covered the one shot or you can say revision of three things vectors pd uh, definite integration now this is the fourth chapter which is differential equations so let's start order and degree of differential equation so quickly we'll go through guys i hope you know all this because this differential equation is one of the most simplest chapter there is let's see what is the order we'll not be wasting time much here the order of the differential equation is the highest ordered derivative highest ordered derivative see the examples below so you can clearly understand here the order is 1 because here only dy over dx is present here d2y by dx square is present so order is 2 what is the degree guys degree is the power of the highest ordered derivative when the equation is been expressed in form of polynomial right so such questions obviously are not asked guys in je chalo next is variable separable method so i hope you know what is variable separable method and your in your syllabus the formation of differential equation parts is omitted from your je me so that you don't have to do it we'll just now focus on solution of differential equation let me quickly brief you solution of differential equation has three parts the variable separable form the homogeneous differential equation and the third one is linear differential which most is a variable separable what does variable separable says guys just take all the terms of x with dx and all the terms of y with dy after doing that integrate on both the sides next is homogeneous differential equation homogeneous differential equation is a bit important and it is a bit lengthy also because in homogeneous differential equation we need to substitute now let's see i hope you know what is the homogeneous differential equation equation of the form like this where degree of f and degree of g both are same both are same if the degree is same then the equation or differential equation becomes homogeneous differential equation now to solve i hope you know what do we do we substitute y equals to vx or depending on the situation x equals to vy any of these two we can use so this is a homogeneous differential equation as you can see in the numerator every term has the power 2 and in a denominator also both the terms have the power 2 so if the numerator and denominator both are the same power then it is a homogeneous differential equation chalo next is what is this it is a linear differential equation what is the form of linear differential equation it is dy by dx plus py equals to q right where p and q are functions of x only p and q are functions of x only now there is another similar form which is dx over dy plus px equals to q here p and q are functions of y only i hope you know this also now what do we do to solve to solve we first need to find the integrating factor right this is a integrating factor and this whole is the solution of the differential equation so basically in to solve linear differential equation we need to integrate two times 
first we need to integrate in integrate to integrate in the solution right next this is a proof i think you don't need the proof you can go through it one all is equal this is a very important concept guys because many times like consecutively in consecutive years they have asked the question from bernoulli's equation you can expect one or two questions in je mains from the chapter differential equation one you can expect surely now the equation of this form which somewhat looks like the linear differential equation see dy by dx plus py equals to q just there is this term y raised to the power n so for this what does Bar bernoulli suggested that substitute or first divide the whole equation by y raised to the power n so we'll get the equation like this after getting this we'll substitute this 1 upon y ki power n as t or v you can say so then our equation will be reduced to this where instead of y now the new variable is v so we have to solve with respect to dv and dx same thing which we did in linear differential equation so first reduce the equation in the form of linear differential equation by making this particular substitution and after getting the linear differential equation we can solve linear differential equation by using our integral factor and all clear this was the revision or i think we have completed what do we have guys in differential equation we have very simple things we also don't have the word problems we only have solution of differential equation or all the four methods that we discussed right so which were the four methods first was variable separable second was homogeneous third was linear and fourth is bernoulli i don't like to call bernoulli is a different method it is same as the linear just some modification is required so one by one we'll go through the questions now uh, if you have any doubts in the question please ask in the chat box or raise your anything but please stop me if you have any doubt let's see this is the section of pyqs from j latest jwe mains 2023 let's see should i give you all some time i think 2 minutes around 2 minutes to solve or not initially i'll give you time to let y equals to yx be the solution and we have to find the value of y3 the whole square i hope you can see the screen right ayush and mike is the screen and all visible all clear you can solve the equation we have to solve this differential equation now out of the four method first make sure which method is it Is it variable separable? It is. Is it which one? Come on, let's see. Sure. I hope enough time is given to for you to understand the question. Let's understand it together. No need to understand the to solve. Uh, yes. So, what can we do here? First, let me try to write the equation here 
uh, we can write the equation as dy over dx, right? Is y by x b is equals to minus e raised to x under root of 1 minus y square. This is very simple, guys. It's simply variable separable, right? Just separate the variables. Mm, so we'll get y dy upon under root of 1 minus y square is equals to minus x into e raised to x dx. Integrate both the sides. Uh, here we need to multiply. I so will take the minus sign here, I think. It will be better. Here we need, if we multiply and divide by 2, then we can easily integrate it, right? Here we have to use the integration by parts. So let's use this will be 1 upon root t. 1 upon root t ka integration is. 2 root t. Am I right? So 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So minus by parts. So this is the first function. This is the second function. So first function, integration of second function minus integration of derivative of first function into integration of second function dx so basically x e raised to x minus e raised to x plus c here we got minus under root of 1 minus y square now to get the value of c they have given this that means x equals to 1 then y equals to minus we substitute it so we'll get minus under root of 1 minus 1 square is equals to 1 e minus e plus c. This is 0, this is 0. That means the value of c is 0. So our equation is minus under root of 1 minus y square is equals to e raised to x. We can take common x minus 1. Now they want us to find the value of y of 3. That means we have to put x equals to 3. If we put x equals to 3 here, any, okay, no doubts. If you put x equals to 3 here, hmm, so we'll get e raised to 3 into 2. We want the value of y, so we need to square. So if we square, we'll get 1 minus y square is equal to this square. So 1 minus y square will be equals to 4 e key power 6. So I think y square will be equal to 1 minus 4 e key power 6. Uh, 1 minus 4 e key power 6, which is option number 2. So simple, guys. Just a simple variable separable. Like no one even expects them to ask variable separable. But yeah, you can expect this level of question from J. Correct? Am I correct? Mayek and Ayush, are you all there? Is it clear? Should we move forward? Okay, okay, fine. Chal. Next question. Again, this is an interesting question. Let me give you a hint. It is, it is, it is linear differential equation. Come on, I'll give you two minutes to try. What a fat. It is linear differential equation. It's a linear differential equation, guys. Come on.
Come on, guys. Chalo. So here, I hope you have done by using the linear. But let me give you another way, which is very smart, right? So we can open this bracket. We get x dy is equals to y dx plus x cube cos x dx. Now see how I'm modifying this equation. X dy minus y dx upon x square is equals to x cos x dx. What is this, guys? This is a very special derivative, which is derivative of y upon x is equals to x cos x dx. Derivative of y upon x. V derivative of u minus u derivative of v upon v square. If we now integrate on both the sides, this will directly become y by x. No need of that integrating factor and all. I hope you have done this type of questions in your class. Uh, in our lecture also, we have done this type of questions. If you have attended, so here you can say again, uh, you can use a product rule or integration by parts. So x, integration of cos sine x minus integration of 1 into sine x. So this will be y upon x is equals to x sine x minus cos x plus c. So we have been given this value. That means x equals to pi, y equals to 0. So if I substitute this value, let us substitute in air. <laughs> y equals to 0, gone x equals to pi gone cos pi cos pi is minus one so i think c will be equals to one so our equation will become y upon x is equals to x sine x plus cos x plus one what do we need we need y of pi by two that means x ki jaga pe you have to substitute pi by two so y upon pi by 2 is equals pi by 2 plus 1. So that means y will be equals to y will be equals to we cross multiply pi square by 4 plus pi by 2. This is our answer. Pi square by 4 plus pi by 2, which is option number 4. I hope it is clear. Let's look at the next question. Yeah, this is a simple question, guys. Very simple. Come on, I want all to try. You'll get confidence, guys. If you even solve one of the questions, you will feel really confident that you are able to solve the JE questions. And this is very simple, guys. That's why I am giving you to solve this that so that you can get some confidence. Come on, come on. I'll give you a hint. What is the slope? Slope of a tangent. Slope of a tangent. Hello. 
this is the point okay slope what is slope guys slope is dy over dx slope is given as 2y upon x ln x we have to solve this simple then we have to find the value of f of x f of x means the value of y so so simple guys and the equation is also simple which is variable separable so i can write 1 upon 2 integration of dy over y is equals to integration of dx over x ln x now here we can put ln x equals to t so we'll get 1 dx dt okay let me change the color so it looks something uh, okay i can put ln x equals to t so dx over x will become dt this is basically integration of 1 upon t which is log mod of t so ln mod ln x plus c and this is also half ln y simple and this passes through this point that means substitute the point x and y here so if i try to substitute the point x is 2 so 1 by 2 ln y is ln 2 the whole square oh is equals to ln of ln 2 plus c now if this 2 comes here it will get cancelled ln 2 and ln 2 will be there so c will be equals to 0 by property of log right 2 will come on the coefficients so if c is 0 then our equation reduces to 1 by 2 log y is equals to log of log x right and now we have to find when x equals to e just substitute the value of x equals to e so 1 by 2 ln y is equals to ln ln e is 1 this is gone 0 so we got ln y equals to 0 that means y equals to 1 simple this is an integer type question so our answer should be 1 correct let's look at what we have next so here i have also marked the date when this came it was on 24 january morning shift that is shift to one how to solve this equation i'll again give you a hint mm, this is the same guys it is linear differential equation Come on, give you two minutes. Chalo, let's solve this.
Hello guys, are you done? Should I start? Okay, let me start. As I already told you, uh, we are doing it or the equation can be solved by oh, linear differential equation. So here, I can write um, x cube dy by dx plus xy equals to 1. So this will become dy by dx. If I divide by x cube plus 1 by x square into y is equals to 1 by You can write 1 by x cube as x raised to the power minus. So this is p, this is q. What is the integrating factor? Integrating factor is e raised to integration of 1 by x square dx, which is e raised to minus 1 by x. This is the integrating factor. What will be the solution? Solution will be y into integrating factor is equal to integration of q. So x raised to the power minus 3 into e raised to the power minus 1 by x dx. So here we can put 1 by x equals to t. That means minus 1 by x square dx will be equal to dt. This is basically 1 by x cube. So we'll get integration of minus will take outside. Huh. So e raised to the power t into t dt. Right? We can use by parts here. So minus t e raised to t minus integration of 1 into e raised to t dt. This will be minus t e raised to t plus e raised to t plus c. Here we have y into e raised to the power minus 1 by x. So let us resubstitute the value of t. So we will get y into e raised to the power 1 by x is equal to t is 1 by x. So minus 1 by x e raised to the power 1 by x plus e raised to the power 1 by x plus c. Now we have been given this value. That means x equals to 1 by 2, y equals to 3 minus e. So let us substitute it. Uh, where did the equation went? Yeah. y equals to 3 minus e. So 3 minus e. Okay, let me move here so we can easily see the equation into e raised to the power 1 by x t minus e into e raised to the power 1 upon 3 minus e e raised to the power 1 by 2 1 by x right? so it will be e raised to the power 2 is equals to minus 1 by x so is equals to minus 2 into e raised to the power 1 by x e raised to the power 2 again oh i think we made okay no plus e square plus c okay so minus 2 e square plus e square minus e square plus c here 3 e square minus e cube so c will be equals to 4 e square minus e cube correct 4 e square minus e so our equation will now become y into e raised to the power 1 by x y into e raised to the power 1 by x 
it equals to minus 1 by x e raised to the power 1 by x plus e raised to the power 1 by x plus c. c is 4e square minus e plus 4e square minus e. Now we have to find y of 1. That means put x equals to 1. If I put x equals to 1, I'll get y equals to e. Right? I hope you are with me, guys. Or you are solving on your own. Please. Just don't look at the board. Start solving on your own. Or get a pen and paper. And write. Start writing what I am also right. Uh, so it will be minus e plus e. Plus 4e square minus e cube. This will get cancelled. I think y will be equals to four e minus e square. Okay, I think that answer is not matching with our option. So yeah. Slide change karne mein, did we made some mistake? Uh, please look at it, guys, while I am also looking. Okay, okay, this is same. This step is good. This step is fine. I don't see any mistake here. Y raised to the power minus t into e raised to the power t. Okay. So y into the power minus 1 by x equals to integration of minus t raised to the power t. Yes. Mm -hmm. One by x, it is right. put x equals to half so let's put x equals to half here y will be equals to 3 minus e x is half 1 by x will be 2 e square minus 2 e raised to the power 2 plus e raised to the power 2 minus e square Or we can simplify the equation. We can write the equation as y is equals to minus 1 by x plus 1 plus c e raised to the power minus 1. It will not make any difference. I think the options are. Correct. Again, I am checking. Let us check together. Oh, guys, it was minus 1 by x here. Right? Minus 1 by x, we use 1 by x. Okay, 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 okay. Let's find the value of c again. It is minus 1 by x. Yeah. So y is 3 minus e into e raised to the power minus 2 is equal to minus 2 e square plus e square plus c. So this will become minus e square. So we'll get 3 e raised to the power minus 2 minus e raised to the power minus 1 equals to c minus e square. Right. This is basically 3 upon e square minus 1 by e. e upon e square e equals to c minus e square. 3 minus e upon e square plus e square is equals to c. Now, is it correct? 
C is 3 minus E upon E square plus E square. So if I put X equals to 1, let me clear this out. We'll solve it here only. No need to move on to the next slide. Focus may we get our results mixed up. Hmm. Uh, y equals to 1. Y into E raised to the power minus 1. Y into E raised to the power minus 1 minus V plus E. Y by E is equal to C. Let us solve the question all together. Should we move on to the next question? I think we'll give it one more try. So, Yeah, this is right. So y into integrate factor equals to integration of q into integrating factor dx. So here we substituted. Oh, I think we made a mistake here. 1 by x equals to t implies minus 1 by x square dx equals to dt. I'll get minus integration of 1 by x bachega. 1 by x square dx will be dt minus dt to again 1 by x 1 by x bachega. t e raised to the minus t it is yes we didn't consider minus t we only wrote t okay we got our mistake chalo now it will be simpler to solve so we can write it as yeah, minus of u integration of v. So minus e to minus integration of derivative of u integration of v dt. Right. So I think we'll get minus again. So it will become plus. So t e raised to minus t plus e raised to minus t plus c. This is our equation. Y into e raised to the power minus 1 by x. So we'll get y into e raised to the power minus 1 by x equal to t e raised to the power minus 1 by x plus e. x plus c. We can simplify it. We can multiply or divide throughout by e raised to the power minus 1 by x. So t plus 1 plus c e raised to the power 1 by x. Yeah. Now we'll get it. Chalo. If I substitute t minus e, 3 minus e is equals to t 1 by x. It was 1 by x. x is half. So 2 plus 1 plus c e to power 2. So this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled. So minus e is equal to c e square. So I think c will be equals to e square upon e upon e square. So minus 1 by e. Yeah. Now let us substitute the value 1 and get the value of y. If I substitute value of 1, I'll get y equals to 1 plus 1, 2 plus c, which is minus 1 by e, minus 1 by e into e raised to the power 1. This will get cancelled. So I think I'll get y equals to 2 minus 1, which is 1. This will be minus 1, right? So 2 minus 1 is 1. Yeah, so our option is first one. Correct? You made a silly mistake here. No worries, guys. Uh, let's look at the next, which is our last question for the day. Let y equals to yx be the solution of the differential equation. So this is a very simple thing, guys. Very simple. Just 
we can write the equation as dy over dx is equals to 3y square minus x square upon 3xy. This is homogeneous. As you can see, numerator also has the power 2, denominator also has the power 2. So it's homogeneous. I hope I wrote it correctly. So dx, yeah. So here we put y equals to vx. So we'll get dy by dx equals to v plus x dv by dx. We'll get v plus x dv over dx is equals to y equals to vx, v square x plus x square, 3 v square minus 1 upon 3 x square v. x square x square will get cancelled. So we'll get x dv over dx is equals to 3 v square minus 1 upon v minus v, which is equal to 3 v square, 2 v square minus 1 upon v, x dv by dx. Simple, now we can use variable separable, so let us separate v upon 2 v square minus 1 dv is equal to 1 by x dx. Let us integrate both the sides here. Hmm. So 2 v square minus 1. So we will need 4 v. So multiply and divide by mod 2 v v was y by x so y square by x square minus 1 is equal to ln x plus c right now y of 1 equals to 1 that is put x equals to 1 and y equals to 1 so if i put x equals to 1 y equals to 1 i will get 1 by 4 ln 1 that means this is 0 is equals to ln 1, 0, plus c. That means c is 0. So our equation reduces to 1 by 4 ln mod 2y square upon x square minus 1 equals to ln mod x. We have to find the value of 6y square e. That means put x equals to e. If I put x equals to e, then I get 1 by 4 ln 2y square upon e square minus 1 is equal to ln e, which is 1. So if we cross multiply, this will become 4. This will become 4. So now I can write 2y square upon e square minus n equals to e key power 4. This will come here. So plus 1. So 2y square uh, I think did we made an error or not? Because there is no option six y square e we want. 6y square e, guys. Did we made an error? Put y equals to vx. v plus x dv by dx. So basically, we got oh, we made a mistake here, guys. It was three V. Ah, sorry, it was three V.
इट वॉज थ्री वी राइट चलो नो इशूज लेट एस सॉल इट थ्री वी इट वॉज सो विल गेट एक्स डी वी बाय डी एक्स इक्वल टू थ्री वी स्क्वेर माइनस वन माइनस थ्री वी स्क्वेर अपॉन थ्री वी दिस विल गेट कैंसल सो नाउ now we can solve it as 3 v dv integration equals to minus integration of dx over x so i get 3 v square by 2 is equals to minus ln x plus c what is v square it is y square upon x square so 3 y square upon 2 x square is equals to minus ln x plus c now if i put 1 i'll get c equals to half now you can do it correct i am not extending for it because the time is up so that's all guys thank you from my side we solved the j means questions here i hope you got something from it next chapter will be doing after differential equation will be meeting after uh, in the next day okay guys bye everyone take care